Many nomadic tribes for centuries in Central Asia adapted to the climate of the region by settling in yurts. The nomadic tribes consist of Mongolian, Kazakh, and Turkish people developed the yurt for shelter. These people were known for moving from place in place. In the middle of the nomads' transition, the tribes built yurts that would protect them from the harsh climate and elements of the region. Today, living in a yurt in the U.S. has become a popular place for affordable living. Many people are attracted to the nomadic lifestyle. This type of lifestyle can afford people to relocate quickly to settle at a new location. The structure of the yurt is versatile allowing for portability. In the video, we will discuss the affordability of building a yurt, the requirements such as permit set up access to water, electricity, and sanitation, and explain how living in a yurt is trending as a lifestyle. The affordability of yurts is cost efficient compared to traditional houses or apartments. The yurt structure costs less to build and maintain. This type of structure is more attractive option for those that have a limited budget or on small budget. In case you may be wondering how to purchase a yurt, particularly yurts are sold as kits. There are many factors to consider when purchasing a yurt to determine the cost. The more features such as the width and height of the structure, such as door frame and door, fabric cover for roof and walls, insulation package for manufacturer, rope or cable for tensioning the lattice walls, and roof to support structure. These building materials can all be ordered as kit and delivered depending on where you want the materials to be delivered to as far as location. However, if you decide to order materials from a website, always remember to take an accountable of shipping and handling cost. Additional cost to consider when you decide to customize your yurt in the case specific add-on cost would be air conditioning, custom doors, glass windows, rainwater collection system, wood stove and flashing, and snow and wind kit. The essential parts of the yurt would be bathroom, kitchen, and a storage area. So let's take a break. If you thought this video was helpful and beneficial, please give us a thumbs up below, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating videos. Now getting back to a simpler lifestyle living in a yurt. However, depending on amenities or customized structure will determine the minimum cost of the yurt. If you decide to assemble a yurt yourself, in other words, DIY do it yourself by assembling the structure yourself, you can reduce costs for labor. Another option would be to hire a professional to install the yurt. The average cost typically ranges from $11,500 to $44,000, according to Angie.com, also called Angie's List. In this situation, having a professional to assemble your yurt can be very costly, but in the long run, this option would save you expensive costly mistakes. Always remember to build your yurt according to your climate in the area of where you're placing the yurt. Make sure the structure can withstand extreme climate or weather. The requirements for building a yurt such as permits. If you are thinking about building a yurt in the city, it may be tough for approval because the city government is going to require an inspector to make sure your building structure of the yurt meets modern-day requirements of building codes, which this type of structure doesn't meet on the regular because of the insulation portion of the structure. Hence, many nomadic people want to be closer to nature rather than the city, resulting to areas like mountainous areas, desert regions, and retreat or camping sites. Setting up access to water supply, this can be challenging but this obstacle can be accomplished by purchasing Berkey water filter. The advantage of having this type of water filter system is that it removes harmful pathogenic bacteria, cysts, chemical contaminants, and parasites. This system is also helpful with reducing fluoride and arsenic that could be found in water. Currently, modern-day yurts you can be installed with electricity and plumbing. According to if you decide to settle where access electricity and plumbing is accessible, Otherwise, living off the grid, you may want to consider rainwater collecting, better known as rainwater harvesting. In other words, creating your own ecosystem. Rainwater collection can be gathered in rainwater tanks. These rainwater tanks can have filters inside reduce harmful bacteria to the body. Using the rainwater harvesting can greatly benefit you growing your own food supply. Many nomads have solar panels for electricity depending on your location, the needs for wattage and battery usage. Location is very important relating to the climate and weather, such as weather being hot and cold. In recent years, seen a rise in popularity. 
people are attracted to the benefits of living in yurts. Case in point number one on the list is no mortgage. The benefits of not having a mortgage can benefit you, and depending on how many dependents, you have tremendously. Besides, no mortgage free up your cash for travel, retirement, or other long-term plans. Currently, nomads within rent years have gained stability if they're still working a 9-to-5 job. By the training presence of working online, online jobs available are listing as online jobs at home, work from home jobs, online jobs at home using mobile phone, data entry jobs, or freelancer jobs. Creating passive income would generate cash for this nomadic lifestyle. For example, digital real estate. You may want to create a niche website with affiliate links for people to buy products relating articles on your website. The only thing about these many ways of generating cash flow is having an internet connection. Having Wi-Fi could be a challenge if you're not located near a camping site, state parks, or maybe a local farm area. For a fact, along this nomadic lifestyle journey, there are going to be challenges take them on in full strive and push forward by doing your due diligence of research and using your creative mind to maneuver around the obstacle. Hopefully, this video was helpful in giving you insight on the lifestyle of living in a yurt. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up below, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating videos.